Hi there, this is uh, Shrikant Dasari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to focus on uh, so how to generate a random number uh, using uh, another different uh, predefined function uh, in math.h which is uh, srand. Okay. So let me launch the IDA. So we know that we are using uh, Visual Studio 2030 in Express for uh, Windows Desktop. Okay. So already I have uh, created a project using uh, the name uh, srand here. It contains nothing but uh, srand.c, a simple uh, .c file. Okay, so let me add let me add all the basic stuff like header files and so on and so forth. Okay, so prior to that, I need to do some uh, configuration settings here. Uh, since we are running a C code in uh, Visual Studio, so I'm just going to setting some properties here in advanced section, compile it as uh, C code, and I need to disable one uh, uh, warning which is uh, four double nine six here. Okay. And then uh, now I'm adding all the basic stuff like header files. So hash include stl dot h. So hash include conio dot h. Okay. So all the basic stuff header files, and I'm just adding the main function here. So int main uh, return zero according to the convention. Then I get ch to make the output stands in here. Okay. So if I run the program. Nothing happens, uh, it just displays the console window. It's taking a bit time. It's taking a moment here, okay. So, and um, just let me just uh, uh, increase the font size a bit, okay. So, console is to 36 here, okay. That's it, and uh, now what I'm going to do is. Uh, so in the previous example, uh, we have seen something like this. Uh, we have taken a variable n, and what we have done is we have uh, generated the random number using the rand function here. Okay. So what the, there is a small drawback using the rand function uh, to generate the random number, which is that uh, when you are uh, generating a, a single random number, I am just adding the mat dot h header file, so which is very essential for a random function here. Okay. So if you do uh, something like this, uh, as we did in the previous example. Uh, Let's say percentage d, comma. Let's put it in slash t such that it comes out of the screen a bit here. N, okay. Semicolon. Now, if you run this small program, uh, you get the random number generated, which is uh, 41 here. Okay. So, if you do it, uh, if you run the program once again, let me go to full screen. If you run the program once again. So, every time you get the same uh, uh, random number here. Okay. So if you want to obtain a different random number uh, at each instance uh, when you run your program, you need to use the srand function here. Okay. So just if you uh, take another variable, let's say int, uh, let's say some variable, let's say x. Okay. So let's take uh, x is equal to srand. Okay. Srand and uh, close the parenthesis. Okay. Let's take the printf once again uh, to print the uh, newly generated random number here. Let's say uh, slash t percentage t. Let's, let's put it in a new line slash and slash t percentage t comma x here. Okay. So what I've done is I have taken uh, uh, the srand function uh, uh, and I've stored generated random number using the srand function, and I'm just storing that uh, newly generated random number in this variable x here, and I'm just outputting that here in the using the printf statement okay so now if you run your program once again so if you observe here uh, let's put it uh, let's make our messages a bit clearer here okay let's say that script uh, slash n and let's say the random number the random number using uh, random function okay random number generated using using the rand function here okay the random number generated using srand okay this goes like this let's keep an is equal to symbol such that it's more viewable okay so now if you run your program uh, the message is very clear cut uh, clear here okay 
So random number, uh, so if you observe here, uh, the SRAND function, uh, the random number which is generated using the SRAND function uh, has a, a huge one because uh, by default uh, the random number uh, specification uh, uh, says that uh, it generates uh, a random number of uh, a range unsigned integer here, okay. So that's the reason uh, you are getting uh, the huge, huge random numbers here, okay. So the whole difference is the, the each time you run your program, you get another different random number here, okay. So if you run it once again, Okay. So now you get the different random number here. Okay. So if you observe uh, in, the, in the output window here, so if you see the, the random number which is generated using the RAND function is 41 which is the same all the time. So the random number which you are generating using the SRAND function is, uh, is a, a different one every time. Okay. So once again I am running the program. So now you get the different number here. Okay. So the each time you, uh, you run your program, you get one other different uh, uh, one other different random number. So okay, depending upon the situation, uh, so you need if you need this kind of uh, 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 different random number uh, every time. So then uh, according to that situation, uh, you need to use the SRAND function here. Okay. So to, so summarize once again. Uh, let's put a few comments here. Okay. So let's keep the heading and the title. <laughs> I need to do in the beginning only. So SRAND function. Random number using, let's put a comment here. Random number uh, using a random function here, okay. Okay, so let's put another comment here, okay. So generating a random number using a random function. So which will be the same for every time, it will be the same for every time. Okay, so generating the random number uh, using the SM uh, random number uh, using a strand function. Okay, so if you use the strand function, uh, which will generate, which will be different. Okay, which will be different each time you run the program. Each time you run the program, okay. okay. So this is the basic stuff about uh, so how to generate a random number uh, uh, using a rand function and a strand function, and what is the difference between uh, both of them, and so on and so forth. Okay. So see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.